Hi, Teresa. Mike, the three turnovers there in the first uh, half, uh, that the tail of the game? Well, it's a large part of the game. Um, but it's not, you know, I mean, we, we have to be able to get some turnovers. We have to be able to find a way to, you know, to get our hand on a football. You know, I mean, we, we batted one um, early uh, on third down, and then we batted one uh, late, and then we had an interception that went through our hands that, uh, you know, turned into a touchdown. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's obviously very complimentary. Um, it starts with taking care of the football, without question. Uh, and, and then we have to be able to... Um, to find a way to get a stop, you know, force them to kick a field goal um, and, and not turn those turnovers, let those be touchdowns. What's keeping you from disrupting the quarterback right now? Yeah, there's there's no secret to, to affecting a quarterback. I mean, you got to have some guys that go and rush and, and get them. And then, um, you know, when, when we pressure, we have to be able to get there. We have to get there uh, quicker. And then, uh, you know, coverage is going to have to allow for – you know, an extra count or a pump or, you know, a hitch. But uh, that, that's where it's at. Like, there, there's no secret uh, to that. You told the guys they had to make decisions while they were at a crossroads. What did they tell you with their play today? Well, there's a lot of good things out there today. We moved the football. Uh, got some some stops early. I thought I thought how we came out and, and played early um, was positive. Um, not, not good enough with the turnovers, not good enough to start the, the second half defensively. Um, so we'll have to get a lot of those things corrected. First time you lost three in a row since your... Anybody game, else here? Six, game. How, how much maybe, Mike, can make it more difficult uh, moving forward by not being able to win this game today? Moving forward? I mean, we're, it's about consistency in this league. I mean, whether you win or you lose, and unfortunately we, we lost, but it's about finding a level of consistency that we show up tomorrow uh, ready to, um, you know, make corrections and be honest and, and try to get things fixed so that we can, you know, move forward and, and prepare to win a football game. That's that's all we do, whether we win or we lose. Mike, did you think the team was distracted Mike, this week? Uh, Nick was blocking on that interception. Was, that, was there some kind of miscommunication between the two on, on that play? It was just, a, you know, not, not a well-executed play. Clearly not a well-executed play. No, Joe, I, I felt like we actually had a, a good week. I thought that, you know, Friday there was energy. Saturday there was a, a volume around the building. I mean, I think that the way that we started the football game uh, and what we did was positive. Um, and we just didn't do uh, enough there uh, once we got into the game with the turnovers and, and our inability to affect the quarterback and to make them earn it. All those things that we try to preach each and every week. Good player, and we didn't, you know, we didn't do enough to affect the quarterback, or, you know, lost leverage and, you know, screen play that, you know, in man coverage, and so catching runs and balls down the field. It's the first time you've lost three in a row since your fourth, and fifth, your fifth, sixth, and seventh games of your first year. Does it say something about where this team is right now that it hasn't been able to refine itself? Uh, I think we'll all kind of. You know, evaluate. Um, you know, I was excited about coming back home and excited about playing against, you know, a division opponent. You know, I thought we were we were prepared. I, I don't know what it says, you know, about this. We understand that there's going to be some some ups and downs, and we're going to have to be able to weather the storm and find out, you know, who, who's willing to kind of you know give us that extra push here down the stretch. Pass protection hurt again, especially early in, in the game when. Ryan got sacked and fumbled there. That uh, kind of been an ongoing issue for this team. Is that what part of that was a question? Help me out with what your question is. That pass protection was it good enough today? Nothing was good enough today. Derek fumbled uh, three times in two games. Uh, is that enough to qualify as a trend? All right, hopefully, we can give it to him as many times as we possibly can next week. Mike, when you guys are preparing during the week, do you at any point at this point in the season feel hamstrung by the personnel you have available to you, or do you feel like you come into each game with enough guys to get the job done? I think that I take that approach every week. Every week that I come in there, find a way. You know, I always tell them, find out who we have, who's available, and uh, everybody to prepare as a starter. And we saw we moved a lot of guys up, a lot of guys played, and we'll see where it is next week and 
do the same exact thing. Did you come into the game today thinking you had enough guys to win this game? I, I always think that we can, can win a football game. And if we, you know, are able to do the things that we talk about, you know, we're able to um, affect their quarterback and, and, and be able to be efficient with, with our passing game, um, get some turnovers, take care of the ball, and be in a game where when you can stop the run and force them to throw the football, then you affect the quarterback and then control the game by running it, I do. Because I know that that's what wins in this league and then being good situationally, um, which, was, which was cool to see our guys battle back. They pressured us. We got into an extra long situation there. Hell, I thought we were going to have a chance to, to score there, kick an onside kick and, you know, see if we could have the 10%. All that shit that happened and went wrong, I still thought we were, you know, guys were rotating in there. You know, Chris Conley, Racy. You know, guys rolling in and out that, um, you know, maybe hadn't had a ton of work with that two minute. So, you know, I thought that there were some some things there that that we can build on. Unfortunately, we just had the, you know, the real long yardage after the after the sack. You want somebody on the defensive line firing off on that kneel down at the end the, the way that they did? Or should that be a done done deal? I want our guys to, you know, I mean, protect themselves at all costs, you know, throughout the game. So, you know, I, I don't know what, what happened or didn't happen. I, I think that they should protect themselves, um, you know, every time that they're out there. Well, when you're at these points, you know, a lot of times when we ask you questions, you say you got to coach better, you got to play better. Mm -hmm. When does it get to a point where like, that frustration just boils over and, and like something else has to happen? Well, I don't know what would has to, you know, what would happen at this point in time other than me coming in there with a clearly defined uh, vision uh, for how the week is going to go, trying to figure out who's healthy, uh, figure out um, you know what the game plan is, how we execute it, how we practice, how we prepare. Um, I, don't, I don't think there would be anything else. I mean, if there are, um, you know, I'm open to I'm open to all suggestions, and, and I mean that. But I think that the consistency that has to happen uh, with with my leadership and my um, vision for, for, the, for the game plan each and every week and what we need to do to win. Um, hopefully I can stay consistent and, like I said, come to work tomorrow, make a, uh, wake up with, with a choice of how we are, are going to respond and how we're going to walk into that building tomorrow. Uh, it starts with me and not, you know, it, it's going to have to start there and hopefully through the assistant coaches and, and, the, and the players. Yeah, we're frustrated. It sucks to lose. And do you ever get angry with them, Mike, and do something that's that's out of character and inconsistent, looking for for some sort of change up? Um, yeah, I do a lot of different things each and every day, you know. But um, yeah, I mean, the consistency is just about the the approach that we take and our attitude and the mindset. Um, so yeah, there, there, there's things that I do each and every day that I think are. You know, we change practice up. We make emphasis. We ball disruption two times a day, ball security at the beginning and the end, and you know, add open field tackle. There, there's a lot of things we do with the schedule. You know, we add, uh, you know, a lot of things. Mike, you talked about coming in and figuring out who's healthy across the league. Do you feel like anybody's had to deal with who's healthy or what you have over the last year? I try not. To, you know, I only focus on the the Tennessee Titans and and whoever we're playing that week. That, that's what I try to focus on. Right. It's tough to win any time. You turn the ball over four times in a game, huh? Yeah, no doubt. Obviously, that's a, something we know each and every week in this league. And, um, you know, we all got to be better and do a better job there. How the interception, Ryan, it, it was hard to see on the replay. It almost looked like Nick was thinking he was blocking on the, on the play. What, what, what happened to no, I was passably all the way. Um, just weren't on the same page. You know, I saw saw something we could get a, a quick ball to him there, uh, and just weren't on the same page. What's the balance at a point like this between being angry, frustrated, whatever, and not being emotional in, in terms of how you approach your work and just kind of get back to the grind? Yeah, we got to channel those emotions, channel the frustration, channel the the anger. You know, whatever individual emotions that each player has, we got to channel them, put them together and, and come together and, um, and get back on track. You know, this is, uh, this is not the way we want to play, but, you know, we talk about the keys all the time uh, in, in, our, in our building and we didn't really execute any of them, offense or defense today. So, um, 
got to get back on track, stick together, channel that emotion, put it together in a positive way, and uh, find a way to win next week. So aside from the turnovers, you guys did what you wanted in the first half. Derek had 100 yards, and you know you guys were moving the ball well with balance, but it seemed like that once they scored, it just kind of completely took you out of that. How much did that just kind of make you have to throw the game plan in the trash and, and just in the second half and just throw it every down? Yeah, we were we were moving the ball effectively uh, the whole the whole first half. Just shot ourselves in the foot with the turnovers. You know, um, each each time we were kind of getting getting in the groove, getting rolling, getting down. Actually, two of them I think were in the in the basically scoring range in the in the field goal range at least, and and we were we were moving and then uh, and then had the turnover. So we did we did a lot of good things in the first half. Um, Got to take better, better care of the ball, and then you know you get behind like we did early in the second half. You know they come out and score. Um, we have a penalty that put us in, in first and 22, uh, backed up basically. Uh, we're not able to, to gain yards there and um, ended up punting. They score again, right? So that, that put us down three scores, I believe. And, um, and at that point, you know, you, you got to find a way to move and, and uh, try to go get points. Okay, sorry. You used to lose, I think, his first three game losing streak since 2018 for this team. And, you know, you guys regularly beat the Jaguars, too. A combination of things turn around. A little bit of an unusual place for you guys to be in right now, having lost three and then lost big at home to the Jaguars. Not a place you want to be in, yeah. <laughs> Not a place that uh, I think any of us walking in this building, you know, thought we were going to be in today. Um, my, we talk about, like I said, the keys all the time. You don't take care of the ball. You don't get turnovers on the other side. Don't get stops. Can't score points. Um, you're going to lose, you know. So uh, I don't think there's any magic formula. We got to do the things that we talk about and. Um, and take advantage of the opportunities that we get. So, like I said, channel this frustration, channel this anger, channel this emotion, put it together, stick together, and find a way to win next week. Some of the defensive like players, they've said that, you know, body language and, and being upbeat is, is going to be critical in a week like this. For you as a guy who has to set the tone for the organization, how do you go about making sure that happens? Yeah, no doubt. Got to, got to bring energy. You know, I thought we had great energy coming into this week. We, we had guys sticking together, had a great week of practice, great re week of preparation. Um, so, you know, great energy going into the game, great energy in the first half, even though we had some, some mistakes and some turnovers, it was great energy, right? So it wasn't for a lack of, of body language or energy or belief. Um, we just had the mistakes that, that really cost us the game over, over the course of the game. So um, stick together, you know, keep, keep that focus, keep that energy, keep it going. Uh, you know, times like these is we find out what you're about. So um, stay the course, stick together, and, and find a way to win next week. Is this still a confident team in your opinion? I believe in those guys. You know, I, I believe we have what we need to go win games. Um, we got to make it happen, right? I mean, we, like I said, we did some good things today and uh, did some things that ultimately cost us the game. So um, we just got to be cleaner, uh, take advantage of the opportunities we get, believe in each other, and uh, find a way to win. How meaningful that you didn't get there and going again that you know, the next couple of opponents going to see that and say, you know, we still have to respect this guy? Yeah, it was great. You know, like I said, we, we did a lot of good things in the first half. Uh, we were able to uh, to move the ball the way we wanted to, uh, you know, doing some stuff in the pass game. Derek was rolling in the run game, had some some big runs, had some efficient runs where, um, you know, it was muddy muddy underneath, but he's able to fall forward and, and stay efficient, getting four yards. Uh, so, you know, a lot of good things in that first half. We just got to do a uh, better job of taking care of the ball. Derek, on that interception, what did you see? I think you just called me Derek, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the D lineman stepped up. Uh, thought I had a quick window there to uh, to drive it to Nick. He uh, wasn't on the same page as me, and, and the rest is history. The three flicker on the, on the first play, are you taking a shot there regardless as long as you have the time to throw it, or, or was there someplace else to go with the ball that you, you chose not to there? No, I mean, we're trying to, uh, to get the shot deep. Don't have that. Got Robert coming across uh, the field. They buzzed out underneath. Um, Guys running, running with Robert underneath. Uh, safety hung for a little bit in the middle. Uh, we were able to get behind him, so it made it one on one on the outside, and uh, you know took a shot down to Nick. I know the guys said the focus was good this last week. Do yeah. You, do you say it was such a strange distraction? How do you how do you rate the focus this week, and, and and do you feel like it affected the team in any way that most things wouldn't? No, I mean, obviously it, we had to deal with it, but I think the energy was great. The focus was great throughout the week. Had a great week of preparation. Practice was, was great. Um, guys were locked in in the meeting room, on the practice field. Um, got a lot done. You know, we just, uh, you know, did some things, like I said, that, that hurt us in this football game. You know, a lot of good things, but 
when you, when you turn the ball over, you don't get any, put yourself in a bad, bad situation. Seemed like a lot, of good, a lot of good things were happening in general for the offense in the first half. But just uh, frustrated by the, the turnovers and what happened. Yeah, um, yeah, they kind of, you know, put us behind. I mean, they took advantage of it. Um, turned the ball over. Uh, you know, coach preached about it all week. You know, we got to take care of the ball and you know finish the drive with points. But unfortunately, we, we didn't, and you know that's what happens. Please. What happened on that fumble uh, that you had when you were along the sideline? Was just, just a matter of not expecting that hit right at that point? Or? I mean, I'm, I'm coming off a broken tackle. I mean, I, can't, I didn't really see. He hit, he hit me, the ball came out. That's what happened. I don't know if nobody's seen it, but that's what happened. I got to take care of the ball. How should this team react? How should this team react first, first three game losing the streets in a while? You're better. Um, like Coach says, it don't sound like a broken record, but I mean, what can you do? I mean, come in, make the corrections, learn from it, and put the game plan together, go win the game, and f- focus on that. I mean, it's over. It's in the past. We lost. And um, come in tomorrow and correct. And you need to take care of the ball. I need to take care of the ball. Um, that's all you can do is come in and get better. Like I said, last week, he talked to you guys about being at a cross ride, crossroads and kind of making a statement. Um, collectively, it didn't seem like a, a very good team answer today. Are you, are you surprised by that? Surprised by how? What do you mean? Well, it seemed like all of you last week were saying, "Hey, we're definitely going to, you know, come back, answer it with the with the kind of definitive team statement," and, uh, and instead it was maybe the, the opposite. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I feel like we just didn't do what we needed to do, you know, uh, to be able to win the game. And they came out and and played better. And you know, like I said, we turn, you turn the ball over and give them opportunities. Then you know that's you know put us in a bad spot. You know I'm gonna hold myself accountable always. And you know I gotta take care of the ball and, and do my job a little bit better. Um, and you know just continue to work and make each other better throughout the week. And you know try to go out and win the game. You know it, you know it's. Things bad right now. We lost three, and um, but just try to stay positive as possible. Is this team still confident as it was, say, a month ago when things were rolling? Yeah, we definitely are. I feel confident. You know, we just gotta, you know, strain, finish games, put drives together, and with points, the things that we know how to do. But we just kept shooting ourselves in the foot today, and um, you know, it missed bit us. Yeah, I think you have a uh, have to have a growth mindset. Um, uh, come in and uh, make the corrections, learn from the corrections, and then let it translate on the field. I mean, guys come in and work hard each and every day, and um, you know it sucks sucks to lose, but I know my teammates and you know, the whole coaching staff that you know we you know had the will to want to get better and go out and get a win. And I think eventually it'll happen for us. You know, we just have a little adversity right now. And, and, and that's all it is. And, you know, we just got to weather the storm, keep working. And everything happened the way, the way it's supposed to. Gary, despite having a rough day all around, the running game seemed to have some success today that it hadn't been having lately. Um, do you think that there were some adjustments that you made during the week that you could attribute to that? And, and was that something that you can positively take away from this game? I mean, I think just running hard and, you know, getting what I can out of every run. Officer line did a great job. All those guys did a great job blocking and glad we were able to be efficient um, in the run game today. But it still wasn't good enough and, um, you know, they won, so. What was supposed to happen on that last fumble? Was that a direct snap, just kind of what went wrong there? Yeah, it was a direct snap and um, got a little away from me a little bit, but I should just throwing the ball rather than trying to pick it up and get back up. I, I got to be better, so you know, nothing, no excuse on that. Just fall on the ball and let's play another down. So, how new of a feeling is it for you to kind of have a team that feels like it's trending downward late in the year? You guys typically have always gotten better as the season has gone on, and how frustrating or concerning is that? Yeah, I think that's uh, leadership. Um, you know, and um, coach, uh, coach always says culture is not. 
the culture is not built on when everything is going good. It's built on when, you know, you got your worst. Like, how's our culture going to, you know, withstand, you know, with everything going bad? And I think leadership just needs to step up. I need to step up and, um, you know, just rally together, you know, stay together. Like I said, um, you know, we've been through adversity before. You know, this one is definitely is tough. But all you can do is just make corrections, get better, and go out, go out there and try to win the game and, you know, work throughout the week, make each other better and, you know, continue to do those things. You know, I've been saying over and over the past couple of weeks, but, I mean, that's all it is to it. I mean, that's all you can do. The adversity that you guys had to deal with this week leading up to this game was different, you know, with John Robinson not yep. being there. How do you feel the focus was, you know, leading up to the game and, and even today? Yeah, we was we was focused. I mean, we want to come out and, and get a win, not really worrying about um, what's going on outside. And um, we was focused on what – just want to come out and get a win, and we didn't. But for like guys, focus had energy and really wanted to come out and do the best we can to help each other, help us win. So. so, when you say leadership needs to step up, what are you personally going to try and do to make that happen? Um, stay positive, because um, you know it's easy to when everything's going bad to be down and you know have every excuse in the book about this and that. But I think you just be positive. You continue to work, um, show the guys, my other teammates, you know, that, you know, still in it, continue to work, everything's still in front of us. You know, we just got to keep getting better and um, have that focused mindset of wanting to finish the season strong.